This segment is sponsored in part by Korean American Family Service Center. The Korean American Family Service Center is a lifeline to the Korean American community in the tri-state area. The nonprofit organization is committed to battling domestic violence and assault by offering programs that include counseling, education, advocacy, and support services. The group's 34th annual benefit gala takes place this Friday, April 28th, at Cipriani on 42nd Street. The executive director of the Korean American Family Service Center, Ji Hae Fisher, returns to the show this morning to tell us what is in store for this year's gala and why it is in so important. You already told me you're wearing what? <laughs> Black dress. <laughs> that is your signature. That yes. is your signature. You have your 34th annual gala. Very exciting. Can you talk to us a little bit about this year's theme? Yes, this year's theme is Rise Above the Violence. So these survivors that come to our doors, um, it's not just about surviving um, the situations, but they're rising above mm. the violence. That's why the theme for this year is about Rise Above the Violence. I love this. Tell us a little bit about the honorees and why it's important to highlight their accomplishments. We have three honorees, mm -hmm. um, Karen Choi, um, for the exemplary awardee mm -hmm. and Stellar Tucker, the Catalyst awardee. Um, these in incredible um, female leaders in the finance world, mm -hmm. they've been mentors and also uplifting the young women's voices mm -hmm. in the finance world. And 98% of our clients are women, so women, leadership, empowerment is something very close to our mission. So we have, uh, we're very honored to have these two honorees. And the third honoree we have for the um, Les Legacy Award is um, pa Mr. Pang Gi Moon. Mm -hmm. He's the eighth um, Secretary General of United Nations, and his foundations and his foundation also focuses on um, gender equity. Oh wow! Um, so we thought that these three um, individuals are well deserved. Yeah for the um, awardees. And they all align with one another, which is fantastic. I know a lot of galas have a silent auction or a loud auction. Tell us about yours. So we have many, many um, wonderful items, and one of them is the the golf tournament um, at the um, National Liberty Golf Course, mm -hmm. and the other one is a private dinner uh, by Chef um, Han Song Kim. These are just two uh, very exciting items that we have for the silent auction item. But then we also have live auction item uh, where we're going to be featuring kimchi, a fermented cabbage made by our volunteers and clients. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love kimchi. What a Thank great you. way to celebrate the night. I and that's just one of the That's items. just one, one of many, many items, I am sure. So the Benefit Gala raises money for KFC. Tell us about how those donations are really put to use because, you know, it's wonderful to celebrate one night, but I know a lot of the hard work is put in every single day. Yes, so we um, raised around 800000 um, alone that night, wow. um, and that um, fund directly impacts our clients sure. um, through our many different services and programs that are provided in a linguistically and culturally affirming uh, way, like the emergency shelter, like the transitional housing, like the counseling, um, and our after-school program. So um, it's going to go directly to um, the impact for our clients. Fantastic. Jihei, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on all the work. I'm sure this gala is going to be a smashing success. Thank you. <laughs> Visit the website listed right there on your screen to learn more about the Benefit Gala this year or how you can help the Korean American Family Service Center all year round.